Let's talk about flipped learning. You know, my story with flipped learning is interesting. For, for 19 years, I taught in the traditional way. I stood up and I yacked at my students. Yak, 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 yak. Then I sent them home to do hard stuff. And I was somewhat successful. I won some awards that way. But if you think about it, you are probably all familiar with Bloom's Taxonomy, but on Bloom's Taxonomy, this is what I was doing. I was spending the vast bulk of my class time doing the lower levels of Bloom's Taxonomy when I was in class with my students, right? The remembering and understanding stuff, I was yakking at my students. And then I sent them home to apply, analyze, evaluate, and create. Now, think about that for a moment. Does that make sense? This is the easy stuff, and this is the hard stuff. I do the easy stuff in class. I do the hard stuff at home, or my students do. So what if we flip Bloom's taxonomy? What if instead there was less class time devoted to the easy stuff and the hard stuff is where we focused in on? In fact, I think, honestly, the best picture of Bloom's taxonomy is this picture, where it's the diamond. I think it's unrealistic to do the, the uh, in, inverted pyramid. I, I think what you want to do is spend the bulk of your class time usually in the middle of Bloom's taxonomy. Now, hear me carefully. I'm not saying that you don't do remembering and understanding activities, but you don't do them in class. So some people said that flip learning is like anti-lecture. Well, I'm lecturing to you right now, but I'm doing it through a video and you can do, consume that ahead of time. In fact, interact. You, you use less class time, so you can use the bulk of your class time for this, because it comes down to their, really, flip learning comes down to one simple question, this. What's the best use of your face-to-face -face class time? My guess, it's not you yakking at your students. It's something else. So it depends on what you teach. If you're a language teacher, maybe it's practicing speaking the language with you present. Create a scenario where you can go to the dentist office or you go to the mall and you're having an interaction or whatever and, and then use your, your pre-learning, so the pre-learning activities, the stuff at the lower levels of Bloom's taxonomy, remember that again, that's the stuff that you want to do in the pre-learning activity. Pre-learning, by the way, could either be a video or text, all right? In the flipped learning world, we talk about two different spaces. Now, hear me carefully. There is what we call the independent space and the group space. The, in ten <laughs> the independent space is where the students are going to work alone. And here, you want to do lower blooms. The group space is when you're face-to-face -face in your classroom. By the way, face-to-face -face could be face-to-face -face in a Zoom room, right? If you're teaching in the pandemic or post-pandemic or online or whatever it might be. And here, you want to focus on higher blooms. It's a really simple idea, guys. Uh, do the easy stuff alone through some kind of interactive online tool. Then do the group space higher bloom stuff. That could be a debate, uh, a science teacher, that's an experiment, um, a history teacher, it's it may be a Socratic seminar, it, in a, a writing class or a literature class, it might be an overall group discussion about the protagonist in the story, in a, in a dance class, it's actually dancing, I think maybe they learn the moves, the dancing moves, um, they watch that in the independent space, but they actually come and practice it in the group space. There's actually sports teams who have adopted flip learning where independent space is like learning the plays in a, like an American football uh, a league or something like that. And then they spend the group space practicing doing those things. It really comes down to this very simple question. What's the best use of your face-to-face -face class time? And I'm going to argue it's not you standing up and yakking at your students to the whole group. You know, for me, so I'm, I'm, I'm still a teacher. I teach full-time. I'm a high school science teacher. And I haven't lectured since 2007 to the whole group. I still lecture, like, like I'm doing right now, through these cheesy videos that you're watching. This is a short, brief introduction to flipped learning and how it works.